All right, good afternoon, everybody. Today is Wednesday, this is the 25th of November. We sort of skipped a few days. We actually haven't had very many people here. We've had three people. They pulled everybody. But anyways, let me go show you guys some of the stuff that they have done the last few days. All right, so to make things look a little bit better, don't mind my big old shadow, is we tiled out here and also pulled the steps up a little bit so the cat can't squeeze out that door. Yes, if they want to jump, they'll jump over it, but we're just making it a little bit more difficult for them to keep them in the yard. Our little <laughs> tiny cat three days ago, we let them out and she snuck out <laughs> the bathroom window that didn't have a screen on it and then went over to the neighbor's roof and then came back to our roof and hung out all night. Just like Ranger last night got off his chain because I hooked him to the wrong, wrong part of his collar and he jerked it off and enjoyed a evening out here in the front. We actually watched him on the camera. He actually didn't go very far. He stayed in the yard for the most part, except for uh, when he'd chase a cat or a dog. And he's, you know, being very territorial. And other than that, he'd just come right back to the yard and hang out and lay down. So anyways, we got that done. They hung up our fence a little bit, I think. We showed you guys that I'm not 100% sure our sliding gate still is work in progress because it only slides but there's no, nothing to hold it in place. Alright so our yard is uh, flattened out. The two piles of dirt has gone over there. We've made more cement chunks because all the dirt that was in here they busted out was full of big old concrete pieces like over here. We also got Crowding going on in our garage carport, which has been fun because since uh, all this wonderful dirt out here has been worked loose, it's like dirt storm everywhere right now. It, it just blows through the house, so any window that's open, all this dirt that's sitting out here, it is going in our house and blowing right through. We also have some wonderful steps being made uh, more to come i'm gonna have a walk through lots of little things going on you can see so this is one step i think there might be another step i don't know that's a big drop all right anyway so yeah so we're gonna raise up the yard some more ming ming quit all right our first kill the ming ming walked right through the concrete and i was trying to grab her and now we got footprints also in here. Our ranger already did it once, and now the kitty did it. So I got some stuff to clean up. And they are worked on this yesterday. Also, and they built up a framing for a screen door right here. We're trying to help block down some of the wind. It actually gets too much wind through here. And I know some of you guys in comments said, oh, it's going to cut down the wind that the wall is. and you know the bamboo is going to cut it uh nope it just blows out actually our dirty stove so right here is our wonderful little tiny dirty stove some wood blockers around it and i'm sure oh you guys are going to say oh it's going to burn it's going to burn i don't think it's going to burn it hasn't yet and they've been using it for a while now and we have another framing going on right here he just put some black primer on it uh, we had dilemma with this thing how to install this no matter what we did it wasn't really made to have a door because we weren't originally gonna do a door here and well guess what we're gonna put one in here because it has rain it is bad in here so we're they're just gonna patch this up in here we're gonna put a little like plexiglass door here with green of some sort I don't know exactly yet. We're still working on it. We're just framing it up. I think it's just going to be a screen door right here. And I forgot to mention, all the walls on the inside of the fence are done. They've gotten skim coated, primered, and painted. We just need electrical done. It's, it's coming along slowly. It's just like we have cable. 
That's an antenna <laughs> right there. We use a lot of internet. Other than that, that's about it. We're gonna talking about doing a load of dirt. It's about for good dirt for growing grass, eight thousand pesos for a monster truckload. It's a uh, nineteen cubic meters. Cause this dirt, it runs. We've looked around uh, between five and six thousand for a, a truckload. But I think that's about it for today. All right, good morning everybody. We actually got some action today. Today is Thursday, November 26th. Besides the, the grouting going on, still got the garage being grouted. I would bet all day it'll be being grouted. But we also have our steps being worked on. They're actually going around and touching them up with the concrete that they put gravel underneath. So it's not pure on the steps. So they're going back when they pulled the boards off. Some of it didn't fill in. So of course they're going back and touching things back up. And this big old monstrosity. And yes, gotta love that valve that's sticking up out of there. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna repair it. If, the, if I need to repair it, I guess all the concrete is gonna come out. <laughs> But, yeah, I didn't notice that one. I would have had them do something a little bit different than what they did. But anyways, it's what it is. I can barely get my, I don't think I can, I actually can't, don't, I'm sure I can't get my fat fingers down in there. This is a deep step, but we're low down here in this corner, so we're going to fill it in with more dirt later on. We have the electrician here today. They're working on all the lighting around. He's brought a whole bunch of goodies for inside the house, too, so... I'm looking forward to seeing the goodies for inside the house. There's so much for him to do. Here is all the goodies from the electricians. Well, we got stuff for inside, we got stuff for outside, and we have John John back, our old welder. That's awesome. So we got a whole bunch of projects for him to do. We have our class 200 meter base. Checking it out. We've been bugging Christian for this thing. But yeah, this is a class 200. It's a little bit heavier duty. This is what was recommended from Badalek for our house. So there it is. They said a GE, but this is a different brand. This is compatible though with the GE. MT200 series type 3R enclosure. Uh, it doesn't actually say the name. All right, we are getting magnets on our screen so i'm not sure about a handle but we got magnets for the screen so that's actually nice that'll uh, keep some cats in the house a little bit better than what's going on right now we're getting these put in there's so much going on we look actually looking forward to having these guys around screens going in we actually requested some of these small ones because tiny broke out so he has two screens <laughs> All right, unfortunately we got some problems. This drain is happened to be full of cement right now. I tried to unplug it and that's what came out of it. So now I'm he's working on the back. I think he's busting out the whole back. We'll see how things go. And the fun begins, the dig out of the line because he can't get it unplugged so he has to dig out the plumbing over here for the drain luckily it's an easy dig out and it's just right on the back side of the wall where the connections are but we do have the main water running through right, so that screen i was just showing you guys the one that tiny broke out on the other day in the middle of the night we're gonna have a screen on it and no more breakouts Everybody, look what we got! Okay, we're having to move it just a tiny bit to see if it'll open up a little bit more. Cause the suitcase, it gets in there, but he has more to play with. It works finally! Yeah, there's a big old hunk of concrete in the piping. Mm. So now, everything needs to dry out. All right, and they all work and they're nice and open now. After a little learning lesson on these little buggers and some YouTubing, they work now. Yay! 
the handles built in. Got lots going on today. Those are gonna be handles he's gonna about to cut out. And then insert. And there goes our window. And some fixings for our counter. Putting some new resin in. For some reason it didn't take, so he's chopping it out. But he is making up some resin right now. Poly white mixed with this R1060 stuff. Uh, polymer products. I'm not too sure. Natural strong liquid wax. So this is the polishing stuff that he's gonna put on all this and clean it all back up. And he's got his polishing mills. What is this he's trying to get? Uh, I don't even know what it is called. Something hardener. Alright, so we're getting holes put in so they can put little shackles, I guess. I don't know. What do you want a pin? To hold the gate in, so once we lock it, it's not going to go anywhere. You guys are struggling with the uh, drill bit. They're using a little tiny one. At least I got them up to 10, and they really needed a 12. I did have a 12 diamond bit, so they were able to cut through the tiles with the perfect hole in them. But they're still having round out with the big bit. Alright, and we got another little manhole getting built for the drainage. I think this is going to be a permanent fixture but I'm not sure because I see plastic around here so we have a little hole not sure kind of handle they're gonna do and we're getting our lights and I think uh, they were saying that they're soft white and we're getting now all the lights on the outside we got all the lights on the inside and we're gonna be lit up we're gonna have a, a very enjoyable power bill <laughs> around our house uh yeah sales already figuring we're gonna have a 10k power bill this month and that's without everything all connected i do like using my oven now so i've been doing lots of stuff i'm making ice cream made three batches of ice cream so far which is nice we're having a big freezer to put it in and everybody's enjoying my ice cream so we got a screen in our master sliding door yay we actually didn't have one, and there is a handle. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see if I can turn. All right, so there, and there. This is actually what he's doing right now. He's putting in these little handles for these sliding doors. They just sort of snap in together. Looks like it needs a little bit of touch up of paint, but other than that, that should be good. I know the tracks are just loaded full of crud at some point they'll be getting cleaned out um it's a wonderful after lunch we have the stripping going on on the drawers filling it in the, like the microwave and the drawers making it all beautified because they had ran out last week so i think this is like one of the last big pushes this week is we have a few more days these guys are talking coming and finishing things up they have a whole tasking each person has a big tasking to get things done and our bathroom downstairs is getting its final touches on it toilet paper roll yes for drying the booty up that's about all that is used for here we have our bum gun right there toilet paper to dry off on so we're good sink works the plumbing all works now yeah there we go we are eyeing it to make sure that it is level look at that there's the toilet paper holder Woo it works a little bit weird our this bathroom is so tight it uh <laughs> yeah and you see what's going on up here we are getting the last filling around the windows and they put a prison bar across it because you know people are pretty skinny around here and they can squeeze through that window with no problem and yes we're having a little bit of technical difficulties right now all right and we're getting some more lighting going on in our parking area our carport they're installing the lights here I would suspect you might run over and get some of these outlets that are uh, not done yet. And there's a few other uh, electrical runs that they gotta do too. All 
Alright, and our latches getting put in place. We got one right here. We got those two. There's one more to go in. Keep bugging them because the little latch right there across is out of shape, so I keep uh, asking them to fix this one too. Besides putting these in. <laughs> I'm sure he will. I think they just got to cut extensions on here. That one and that one. And they just got to move it out a little bit. And then straighten out the bar. Or they're going to cut some new bar. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to do. It's a little bent. They made it bent so uh, it would work. We got some filing going on for these. Drain out the windows. They need to be done. I think we have ones upstairs too. And look at those feet balancing on that. <laughs> Top of that wooden ladder. <laughs> Looks like he's having fun up there. So we're actually getting exciting because all the lights on the outside and all the lights on the inside are on and they are working. They actually controlled properly on the switches. This light up here is working and all the lights on this side is working. So we're rolling with the, with the light. We're getting close, but uh, I was asking, oh, what about all of our outlets? So that's next for some of our outside outlets still need to be uh, worked on a little bit. All right, everybody, I hope you all enjoyed our video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed and hit that bell button down there in the corner to get notified next time do a video. Thank you and goodbye.